what's up everyone so I'm a little sick you may hear that but still want to voice over through this footage that I got the other day and this was actually me going to surf a new surf spot that is in the area but I'd never surfed before so I actually went there and when I got there there was only like one guy out so I actually just like waited there and then a few other people showed up and then I just like started talking with them and ended up going out with this one, um, like making friends with this guy that had surfed here before and paddling out with him. And normally, um, like if it's a beach that's like a shore break or a beach with no rocks, you kind of just like figure it out. But this place is a reef, so there's rocks. Un they're underwater, it's rocks all over the place. Also, there's some reefs that are kind of poking out more in certain spots. So I got to figure out where those were by making friends with some of the people who had already surfed here quite often. And, um, since I'd never surfed before, when you show up at a place you've never surfed before, definitely don't just show up and like act like you own the place because especially if you've never surfed there, people there, they've probably already surfed there t tons and tons of times. So I actually at first was just kind of waiting, up, like hanging out off to the shoulder, so not like right at the peak, but off to the shoulder and would pick up little waves and then slowly like move closer to the peak, but don't just like show up, act super aggressive, like paddling, paddle battling everyone, because they're gonna be like, who the heck is this? They've ne I've never seen this person before. So, um, always keep that in mind when you're surfing a new spot. And I, this one guy actually did drop in on me, and like I, it was like, well, I've never surfed here, like I, I'm not, it's not like a big deal. And then he was actually like apologizing and telling me, oh, I'm really sorry. sorry. You guys hear the rain? Raining like crazy the last few days. It's almost dark, so here's the story. Last video, remember I said that we kind of had to work and we kind of got knocked off track for like a week? That evening, I got sick. Tua got sick. And we've been basically, we've had a cold. I think it's the rain came in and all the bacteria, who knows how it works, but we've had like nothing but rain for like two or three days and then everybody's been sick. And you can probably hear it in my voice and we're just starting to feel better. So one thing after the other, right? So there's always gonna be something that tries to knock you off track. But after four days of being sick and I'm like, man, we gotta get this thing going. Let's get off our arses and make this work. So we're gonna do a concept, indoor board concept today. Uh, and then hopefully we're feeling better and we start back on the workouts in a day or two. But man, he gets sick, hate it. Oh, Tua might have a really big project coming up soon. Potentiality. Potentially huge, crazy, pro well I think it's crazy. I'll tell you about it maybe in like two weeks. Yeah, you guys will be like, no way. There's no way he's gonna do that. All right. <laughs> Say when. All right guys, so today's indoor board concept is really simple. Everything that we went over up until this point, you know, there's a heat thing, there's a compression, and there's a turning. Except what we're gonna do now is, um, this is one of my favorite things because this will really test your balance. It's doing the same drills, but turning all the way so you're looking backwards. So your feet are forward, but you're like this. So whether you do like two feet, two feet, that sets the balance all the way back. This one, as soon as you do that, it's like it'll totally check your balance. But in surfing, we do a lot of turns where we pull up our body. And you want to learn to basically feel comfortable in that position. That's what I like to use the endo board for is finding uncomfortable positions and then practicing that uncomfortable position. And then when you get on a surfboard and you find yourself in that position, your balance will kick in and be like, I know this position a little bit. That's why people have a lot. A lot of people have a hard time surfing backside because they feel uncomfortable going like going like this. So you can practice that on the indoor board. So if you want to improve your backside surfing, get comfortable basically balancing and turning like this. You watch. I guarantee you. I'm sick. My balance is off. <laughs> So you gotta do it both sides. This side would be like front side, turning all the way. So if you're trying to do like a big turn or something, you're gonna like turn your body all the way. Do that also with compression. So maybe we come down low. 
And then you do it the other way. This will test your balance. So that's the concept for today, which is basically one 180 degree turn look. Next week I got a really good one for you. So uh, that's it for today. Get on your indoor board, practice. It doesn't have to be an indoor board. It could be a homemade indoor board. It could be a balance board. Homemade with a water bottle. It doesn't explode like ours did. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Kuda Vida and Aloha. <laughs> I'm just pretty sick, so not feeling that good at Lotus. Yeah. And the rain, you hear that rain? I wonder if you can hear us. <laughs>